What's up, guys? Welcome to the K-pop Central Star Daily Hollow News. I'm your host, Gun, and we have Evie. Hi, I'm Evie. Are you curious about what has happened in K-pop world this week? Well, I'll let you know soon. Guys, one of those singularity of this year was the K-pop scene was dominated by a lot of female solo artists, and many people loved them. You know, it was only uh, you know idol groups and. Uh, male solo artists who have dominated K-pop scene before. So, for instance, a former member of Wonder Girls, Sunmi, returned as a solo artist, and also veteran singers like Park ji and Yuri you know, made a comeback to the stage after a long break. And also like uh, you know, Ailey and uh, Kim Erim, who are very well known for unique voices, and made a comeback to delight everybody's ears. So I always wish the best of their luck in 2014 continuously. Anyway, we have a lot of updates for you. Ivy, what have you got today? Today, I got three hot news on BAP, Starship Entertainment's holiday single, and Girls' Day. <music> BAP has wrapped up their successful and impressive first Japanese tour, attracting 40,000 fans. Their tour titled BAP First Japan Tour, Warrior Begins, had stops in three cities with six concerts in total. Moreover, the number of fans that attended the concerts held in Kobe, Nagoya, and Tokyo is 40,000 people, which confirms that the group is enjoying great popularity in Japan. The finale concerts took place from December 4th to 5th in Yuyogi Stadium in Tokyo. The tour offered a complete live experience thanks to the live band and the breathtaking stage design, which reportedly is worth over 3 billion won which is 3 million US dollars. There's also a rumor that the voice transformed the stage into a scene from a movie by preparing a stage following the format of a drama. To make the concerts even more special, they revealed new Japanese versions of their hit songs. Like true professionals, BAP rocked the stage for two hours without any help from their translator. Starship Entertainment will be gifting their fans with a holiday single sung by k Will, Seastar, and Boyfriend. On December 9th, Starship spoke with Star News and said Starship Planet will be releasing a new single on various music charts on December 13. The rap continued, the new song is a holiday single that goes well with the season. However, the artist will not be promoting the single on broadcast. Starship Planet is a winner project by the Starship Entertainment artists. In 2011, they released Pink Romance, and in 2012, Sister Soyu, k Will, and Boyfriend's Jungmin released White Love. Meanwhile, the Starship artists are busy with each of their activities such as Hyorin's solo album promotions, Tasum's sitcom, and Soyu's casting into a JTBC variety show. k Will had great success with his latest single, You Don't Know Love, and Boyfriend is busy in Japan as they released a new single there. Get ready to start 2014 with the beautiful ladies of Girls' Day. On December 10th, the group's agency, Dream Tea Entertainment, announced that Girls' Day are aiming for a comeback on the first week of January in an interview with Star News. Fans can expect to be reunited with the four ladies as their upcoming mini-album is predicted to convey the group's signature cute but sexy concept. Through such songs as Expectation and Female President, Girls Day solidify their status as cute, sexy and vocally strong women of the K-pop industry. It seems they have already decided on the concept, but is there a concept you would like Girls Day to try out next? You know what? Holiday season is coming, and Kangta, Roy Kim, and actor Lee Jun Gi plan to come back this winter. So please keep an eye on them. Thank you, and let's meet again with another hot issues next week. Thank you very much for your updates, Evie. All right, let's carry on with the show. The next segment is yeah, star focus, and today's star is female solo artist. And as I told you in the beginning, a lot of female solo artists made a big success this year. And uh, one of those who contribute to this blast in Korea. Yeah, who is she? Let's check it out. Today's star is Hyorin. Yeah, Hyorin auditioned for JYP two times and was finally accepted at the second try, placing first place at the audition. She was set to debut in a project group with Secrets Jun and Axis Yuji, but plans fell. 
including they left JYP and joined Starship Entertainment, auditioning with a cover of Christina Aguilera's Hornet. Finally, in 2010, Hyorin made her debut as a member of Sister on KBS Music Bank with her debut single, Push Push. Also, she had a chance to participate in the newly formed variety show, Immoral Song 2, and she won the first episode and received immediate attention and public love for her voice. Her newfound popularity helped spread Sister's name to the public. Due to her great vocal ability and stage presence on the show and other variety programs, she has been labeled as a Korean Beyonce by some singers within country. Recently, Hyorin made a comeback with her solo album. So let's wish the best of luck in her future activities, fighting. Sadly, it's already time to wrap up the show. But, you know, you can still participate in our show. It's very easy and simple. Just visit our website, stardialnews.co.kr, or our YouTube channel, and leave your comments or questions on your favorite stars. And also, you can watch our video one more time on Facebook page of Korea.com. Yes, 24-7, we are always waiting for your comments and questions. So don't hesitate to write to us. Guys, oh, we have only one month, yeah, less than one month left this year. Time passes by so quickly. And do you know the first native people had their own way to call the December? Yeah, they call the December the month of non-possession. Yeah, which means like uh, you need to let go of your greed and walk on the brand new year. So why don't you try to learn from this letting go of greed and uh, practice non-possession? Anyways, I hope you guys all wrap up this year very beautifully and walk on the brand new year. Anyway, thank you for joining us and have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.